Hi, I'm Karen Tweetai and welcome to Bruins Beat here at TD Garden where the Bruins are getting set to host the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight. We heard an update this morning on Frank Vetrano who remains out day to day with an upper body injury. Max Talbot was recalled from the Providence Bruins. When you go down there you, you play a bit more, you play in a different situation and then uh, when you ask to be here when someone goes down or uh, whatever and you just try to do the job as, as soon as you can adjust and, and uh, help the team. You know, and hopefully when you come back here, you play well enough that, uh, that you can stay here. You watch the games, you know, you, you watch the games, you try to, to stay prepared, but at the same time, you don't, you know, you don't watch it, you know, looking for, for guys to get hurt or anything. You, you just watch the game to stay in the loop and, and see how the team is doing and, uh, and what, they're, what they're doing, and, and uh, you, you, stay, you stay ready. Well, he's an experienced guy, you know, and I think uh, that's the comfort level that you're talking about. You know, as a, he comes, he competes hard. Uh, you know, he, he understands what we're what we're trying to do here, so it's not like you're trying to teach somebody. So that's, I guess, the uh, uh, the luxury that we have uh, with uh, Max being in Providence. When you bring him up, you're bringing a veteran player that that's played the game, that uh, is not nervous about playing in this league, and, and that understands he's been with us since last year, so he understands exactly what we're. Uh, what we're all about here. The Leafs come into TD Garden having earned a shootout win over the Carolina Hurricanes last night. They will have that second leg of the back-to-back -to -back tonight at TD Garden. The Bruins, meanwhile, looking to build some consistency in their game, not taking a step back after their win over the Minnesota Wild. What I've found from uh, Toronto's team is that, uh, you know, over the past few weeks, you've really seen their structure come together. You know, they're playing a lot, a lot better, and uh, they seem to be... Uh, I guess more in sync and probably a lot more comfortable with what they're being asked to do. So that's kind of a natural uh, situation given that, uh, you know, they've got a new coach that's trying to put uh, something into place here and they seem to be uh, real confident and, and obviously uh, hard working. Again, like, uh, like I said after the last game, um, you know, walking in the room after the win, I was already thinking about this game. So. My focus was pretty much on uh, the next step, and um, for sure we have to approach it that way. Um, be really focused to to build on that that the game we had against Mini, and um, you know focus on things we did well, and and keep improving things that we we need to improve on. Well, I think consistency is a big uh, uh, big key word for us. It's been uh, in the past, uh, the last few games we had one good game, and then fell right back to where we. Uh, um, left off before that game uh, it's just not good enough and uh, we have to uh, just start playing consistent hockey and and and, and get it get a win streak going that's it for this bruins beat be sure to stay tuned to bostonbruins.com and the bruins mobile app for the full update the bees did not hold a morning skate this morning so for projected lineup information you can check out warm-ups tonight follow that live on twitter at nhl bruins we'll see you then